Hey guys, what is up? It's Plotless. Um, I'm so sorry if this guide is kind of late. I have to be somewhere right now, and I'm kind of somewhat rushing to do this, but I will, of course, try and take my time and explain things as best as I can in the time that I'm given. Uh, feel free to ping me in general, wherever it is, uh, in questions. If you have any questions about the drop, your setup, anything, feel free to ping me. I'm going to be free until 11 tonight. So yeah, uh, we're going over the Beluga's reflective hair right here. Retail 240, all the sites are here. You know the drill, guys. Uh, we're going to go straight to the Shopify module. Create task. Let's go down to Kith. Uh, I'm going to be running the early link, so we'll go to the Discord over here. You'll see the setup guides. Here's the Beluga setup guide. I'm going to find Kith here. We're going to use uh, the men's EL early link because I'm going to be running for men's sizing. If you want to run kids or infant sizing, feel free to. Uh, just know the size. The, uh, you'll have to run a different size uh, if you're running individually. Uh, more on that later. I'm going to paste this in. There you go. You have your link. Don't touch that. If you're running link, which I recommend you do on Kith, you're good. This is all you have to do for now. Me, personally, um, I'm going to be running for, I think, like a size 10. Uh, you can type that in. You don't need to write 10M, uh, US 10, just 10. But it varies per site, um, and I'll get more into that later. Uh, or you can run random. Uh, random is probably the safest bet for all the sites that you're going to be running for. Uh, I know Trace has said it, uh, one of the devs on V3. Probably one of your best bets if you don't know how the size range works on most sites, which they do vary. Uh, I've learned from Exhibition and Undefeated when I ran for them. So you have your size here. You don't need a proxy. Uh, one quantity. Select your profile. Um, I'm not going to be going over this. I really don't want to as it's really just um, a waste of time for me. Uh, you'll see here in the guide that it says safe preload for almost all of these. Pretty self-explanatory. Again, I don't mean to insult anybody's intelligence, but safe, just, just use safe preload. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be the fastest, safest, and probably your most effective method at copying anything on Shopify. Unless, of course, bot protection is done. Um, I'll be going into a more in-depth video on that. But this is only a setup guide, so I wouldn't be really too worried. Just run safe preload for all your Shopify sites, and you should be set. Uh, of course, you don't need a site password for any of these sites. Uh, depending on the site that you're running i'm going to be setting up again kith and undefeated you will need an account for undefeated and it, i know it says it in the guides uh right here undefeated it'll have the check mark yes it requires an account i know exhibition does as well but i don't think they're dropping so we'll go back here blah 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 no shipping rate do not get a shipping rate do not fetch a shipping rate you don't need a shipping rate that's what preload is for uh, and manual start time save task now when we start the task you'll see it go through the uh Preload method really, really fast. Finding preload item, adding it to cart, checking out. And once it says item found bad link, retrying. This means you're in you're in the good, you're, you're, you're good, basically. You don't need to touch it from here. Um, this is basically just waiting for the product to load or the link to go live. And then once it does, it'll pick up the product, check it out with your size or pick up a size, etc. And you should be good. And yeah, we'll stop this for now. Going into undefeated. 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 I don't I don't think Ash put a, a keywords for this or even a setup for this because I don't think they're dropping. I think they had a raffle already. Um, and they rarely do drop. So, But we'll just set it up because it requires an account. And if any of the Shopify sites you, uh, you're running for requires an account, you can just apply this to that. So we'll just uh, we'll run like Yeezy, Beluga, which I know will not pick up because they will never use, I, I'm like, I'm sure they'll never use the word Beluga in a product key link. It'll be like some weird product skew, the color code, whatever. Random size is it's your best bet on sites like this. I don't, I last time I ran with like a 10, it couldn't pick up and I've been trying to figure out ever since. Um, again, same thing, no proxy, quantity one, select your profile. Preload, of course, please just use preload. Do not ask if you can use safe or what modes to run, just use preload. Um, no PayPal checkout, no site. Uh, here, account. You'll just uh, select the account on the dropdown and you'll save task. 
Now, if you don't have your accounts on certain sites, you go to your profiles tab right here. Go to accounts, click the plus, uh, scroll down, select your site, whatever requires an account. Undefeated, enter your info in, add your password, and save account. And then you'll see now we're able to select it from the drop down. Here we are. And you, you just save uh, it. I'll actually, you go to the gear icon here, the settings. Uh, you want you want to be sure you have background mode on whenever you're going to be running from these drops because I know for a fact you guys will not be staying in this tab, sitting, watching your tasks, wait, and get through queue. You'll be going through Discord, whatever, typing in general, talking uh, until your tasks pass queue. So you want to have that on. Uh, but on the more important part, you'll see here browsing browser settings, uh, Gmail login. This is a very important part. You'll click on this. You'll log into your Gmail. It'll have a login screen. You'll type your email and your password, and then you'll select the account, and then it'll say login successful. This Gmail only applies to the Shopify Captcha Harvester. So you see how I went to my Shopify module. And then I click the plus and I and the capture harvester down here. It only applies to this harvester. You, uh, it'll make more sense when I talk about the Q tool. This does not apply to the Q tool. This Gmail, you'll have to manually sign in per uh, Q tool tab uh, when you make your tasks in the Q tool. Uh, and you'd want to use a really good Gmail or at least one that personal Gmail at least that um, so you'll get better ca captures. And if they do implement uh, those weird fade captures, you won't get slow ones. And it'll be better for you to solve the V2 checkpoints, which are normally just easy three clicks if your Gmails are good. There's no way to check if they're good. Just use one that you use frequently or even your school one, your work one, whatever it may be. As long as you use it often, you should be good to go. Going straight into Q tool, you'll click the plus, create task, uh, select your profile you'd want to do three max on easy supply i know i've seen people get banned with two one even even manually my max would be two you can push it to three if you'd like i would not um i normally just run two and that works for i know a lot of people but whatever you'd like to do i'm just here to recommend and help you it's again it's all personal preference so you go to the website scroll down find easy supply this is where you'd want to find a direct link. Go to Easy Supply, we'll click on the product link, and we'll use this product link. This is for the adult sizing. It's also on here, uh, Demand Rare Q Tool. You just select that copy link and then put it into your URL. Save task, and it'll say your, ta your task was successfully created. You click OK. I don't know why it's coming up like this. Just a weird page error. Let me just refresh. Now, people have been asking me, um, do proxy are are proxy supported in Q tool? At the moment, no. I don't work for Swift Soul. I have no affiliation with them. I just make these videos, um, helping you guys set up. I'm not paid by them. Uh, and yeah. So you see here we have two tabs. You do not want to make these beforehand. They will ping in announcements or wherever it may be. I think it'll be in announcements. Uh, they'll be like, uh, create or create your tasks. Uh, they'll be talking about the Q tool. You'll only do this once sale is live. When they, I'm sure they'll just ping like sale is live. You you go to your uh, your Q tool over here. You create your task. You select your profile. Easy supply, and you'll paste your link in, and then uh, you that'll be basically it. You only want to make your tasks once sale starts. Uh, that's pretty much it. When you log into your Gmail, you'll see a Google logo right in the middle next to the edit button. Uh, you'll just click that. And then you'll log in, blah, 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 select the account. And, it'll, and it'll, you'll just have to go back by clicking the back a little bit. You'll have to do this for, I think, two or three tabs or however many tabs you're doing. it. You'll have to do it for each one, unfortunately. I know, a bummer, but it's only two tabs. You cannot leave Qtool once um, you've started it, and you cannot leave the app, I believe, even with background mode on. Background mode only applies to Supreme and Shopify, I believe. Don't quote me on that, but I know you cannot leave it by like pressing this back button next to Qtool. You cannot leave it and check on your Shopify tasks.
or whatever you're running, you have to stick to this. You cannot leave it. Uh, once you pass, of course, you'll just see it here. I don't think it sends a webhook or changes color like in Splash. Uh, quote me if I'm wrong. I haven't used Qtool yet. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for Qtool. Some general questions I get. Um, I think, let me remember. Uh, for Shopify, I think people were asking me about how many tasks do you want to do? Or do you have to do like max? I do two max as if you're running for five sites at 10 a.m. That means you have to solve at least 10 captures to get to checkout. Uh, to solve those checkpoint captures and get to checkout. Which is really tedious and slow and it gets really frustrating sometimes. Because th those will completely block you from checking out other sites. Because you're busy solving ones. Uh, you're busy solving captures for other sites. Uh, so I'd stick to one or two. Do not do more, and do you do not need proxies for Shopify. Uh, it's supported, but you do not need them. You really don't need them, especially on this when you only have one harvester. So yeah, keep that to one to two tasks max per site, and you want to be so fast when solving these captures. They will not solve themselves. And yeah, when to start? This is a big question. It honestly depends on the site. I cannot tell you when to start Kith, when to start Undefeated, because queue times will vary depending on what's dropping. Um, and uh, yeah, you'll just have to start and stop like this uh, until it says waiting in queue. And then you'll just leave it. And then it'll go to like the bad link or whatever if you're using uh, this or product not loaded, very not found, whatever. But you have to just keep starting and stopping, let's say every every 30 seconds at least, until it says waiting in queue. You want to do this 